Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be going through all the new features in the just released GDevelop 5 Beta 111. This version of GDevelop is loaded with new features, new features including improvements, bug fixes, and brand new extensions, which I'm sure you would love. So let's take a look. So first on the list we have add an option to package games as Android app bundles to publish them on the Google Play Store. Well starting from August of this year 2021 it will be mandatory to upload Android app bundles to the Google Play Store. APKs will no longer be accepted but you can still build these APKs in GDevelop 5 and try them out on your devices and distribute them to most of these um, app stores which still allow you to upload APK. So in the export project to a standalone game you can now see two options which allow you to pick um, to export your game as an APK or as an Android app bundle. So you can select whichever of this you want and let GDevelop package it for you. So the next improvement on the list is the improved selection. Yes, GDevelop has finally improved its selection. This is something I've been waiting for for a very long time now. You can now see these handles around the selected objects which lets you resize the objects from different sides. So this improvement to the selection object lets um, selected objects keep their relative position when resizing or rotating. So when resizing rotated instances, their aspect ratio will be kept. This um, new improvement to the selection makes it easier to edit chunks of levels, scale them, resize them and rotate them. So now let's compare GDevelop 5 Beta 111 selection to that of GDevelop 5 Beta 110 selection. So on my right I have GDevelop 5 Beta 111 and on my left I have GDevelop 5 Beta 10. So you can see the difference between the selection handle right here. So you can see the difference between the selection handle in GDevelop 5 Beta 111 and that of GDevelop 5 Beta 100 and then you can see how it fits the sprite. So the next is selecting a group of objects. When rotating, select a group of objects. You can see how it rotates in that of GDevelop 5 Beta 111 and how it rotates in GDevelop 5 Beta 110. I personally, I prefer the rotation of a group of objects in that of GDevelop 5 Beta 110 than that of GDevelop 5 Beta 111. It's a personal opinion and I don't know, I just feel like it's better. Resizing the objects in Beta 10 is still very bad. Take a look. And that was fixed with this new resizing in GDevelop 5 Beta 111. The next improvement to GDevelop 5 in this version is allowing pop-ups in the event sheet to be validated after a change using Ctrl Enter or Command Enter. So this improvement also comes with a preference to choose if escape key should cancel any changes made. So here it is in the GDevelop preference. You can click on it and you should see a drop down menu where you can select what should happen once you press escape key. So GDevelop also received some UI improvements which includes new icons to the behaviors editor and icons in the projects manager. But before we take a look at this, if you're watching this video right now and you haven't subscribed, do well to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future uploads and also to help the channel grow. And if you're enjoying the video and you know someone who would, do well to share the video. Thank you. The first improvement to the UI is make the buttons at the bottom of the list of animations always visible in the sprite editor. These buttons include the add an animation, edit points and edit collision mask. As you can see on the screen right now, these buttons are fixed to the bottom of the dialog. Now if we take a look at it in GDevelop 5 Beta 110, you can see that these buttons require you to scroll to the bottom in order to access them. Now this is something that was improved on 
in Cheetah Valve 5 Beta 111. I think this is a really great improvement to the engine. So the next UI improvement is put a button to restore the default collision mask in a split menu. Let's take a look at this. So if we go into our object and we edit the collision mask, here you can see this and if we use a custom collision mask and then we move our points to different angles we can still get the default points just like it was when before we modified it you can do that by going and clicking on the drop down and clicking on restore so you can see we get our default positioning of the point back the next UI improvement is put the button add a behavior to the object at the bottom of the list of behaviors. Now let's take a look at this one. So if we go into our object and behaviors, you can see this button add a behavior to the object is placed at the bottom of the um, dialog. So let's take a look at Cheetah Valve 5 Beta 110 so we understand the difference between this. So if in Cheetah Valve 5 Beta 110 behaviors, you can see that this button is not placed at the bottom of the dialog rather it's placed directly beneath this note right here so that's the ui improvement to that button so the next improvement is hide preferences in the web app when they are not applicable for it so preferences in the web app that are not applicable will now be hidden aka would no longer be visible the next UI improvement is display behavior icons in the behaviors editor. So let's head into our behaviors and let's add a behavior. Let's add the um, pathfinding behavior. So now you can see our pathfinding behavior has its icon displayed right there at the top right corner of the screen. Let's add in a new object. And here you can also see the icon which is displayed right there on the screen. If we go into GDVAL 5 beta 110 and um, let's add a behavior. And if we add in the platformer character behavior, you can see the icon is not displayed there. So that's basically the UI improvement to the behavior, which allows you to view the icons of the behaviors. The last UI improvements for beta 111 is display extension icons in the project manager. So in our project manager, you can now see the icons of extensions. Let's open up GDevelop 5 beta 110 to see the difference. So in beta 110, you can see there is no icon. And in beta 111, you can see there is an icon. So that's the difference between this version and that is the improvement in it. So the pathfinding behavior also received its own updates like the reorganize uh, pathfinding behavior actions and conditions in two groups. So let's take a look at this improvement. Let's add a pathfinding behavior to our player character. So add a behavior and um, pathfinding apply. Now let's go into our events sheets and add an action and um, let's search for pathfinding. Okay, sorry, let's select our player and now you can see how this has been reorganized here. We can compare this to GDevelop 5 Beta 110. Let's do the same thing. Let's add our um, pathfinding behavior to our player. So pathfinding, apply and into our new scene. When we search, add an action, sorry, player and then you can see the difference in the two you can see how they have been reorganized in cheetah vault 5 beta 111 and they need to be um, scattered in cheetah vault 5 beta 100 and then so that is it the next pathfinding improvements is the new condition and expression to check the movement angle for the pathfinding behavior so if we jump into events add a condition and then search for movement you can see we have the movement angle offset so this is the new condition which was added in GDVAL 5 beta 111 it should let you check the movement angle for the pathfinding behavior once you select your object which has this behavior you can make use of this new condition so the last improvement to the pathfinding is add action condition and expression to specify an offset for the virtual grid used by the pathfinding behavior so if we jump into our events let's add a condition and let's search up virtual so you can see this two new um conditions which are the grid x offsets and the grid y offsets as this is used to specify the offset for the virtual grid 
So these two are not available in Cheat Valve 5 Beta 100 and then. Another thing you'd notice is in the pathfinding behavior properties. If we go into our new scene and then player and behaviors, you see the two new parameters which are virtual grid X offset and the virtual grid Y offset. These two were not available in GDVL5 Beta 110. We can take a look at GDVL5 Beta 110. And there you go, you cannot see those two parameters in GDVL5 Beta 110. So that's the improvement to the pathfinding behavior. So the next improvement in this version of GDevelop is improvement to the author completions when writing expressions. For this we'll be covering the add author completions for animations and points of sprite objects. So into our events let's um, open this up and so here you can see our animation, the auto completion for our animation. These are the animation name of our sprite object which is player. Now let's click on OK and let's head back to our scene. So in new scene and let's open up player and edit points. The auto completion also works for points so we we'll create a point now. Let's name our point uh, my point. There we go close and apply. Now let's head into our new scene event and let's add an action. Um, let's select checkpoint. There you go. So in checkpoints, we need to get position. Let's get the position sign set. So now I want to show you how the auto completion works. So player dot. Let's clear that. And point. So point, and there you go. That's object point name. And if we type in the first letter of the point, which is my point, as you can see, we have it displayed there. That's the name of our point. So that's how the auto completion in this. Um, version of GDVL, which is better one, one, one works. So the next improvement to the auto completion is add auto completion for variable names in expression. Let's take a look at this. So if we go into our events and then add action and scene variable. So value for scene variable, I name my variable my var and set the value to equal to. Sorry, the sign to equal to and the value to variable. So here we should see the names of the variable in this scene. So we have the variable player just dead. And that's how the auto completion for variable name works. The next improvement is add disconnect actions to the P2P extension in GDevelop 5. So let's take a look at this new actions. Now new scene events, let's add an action and you need to type in P2P. Um, let's just type in disconnect. Okay, sorry about that. So here are all the new um, actions which are available in GDevelop 5 better 111. You can disconnect from all pairs. Now disconnect from brokers and disconnect from a pair in the P2P extension. The next improvement is that the list of examples is now replaced by an example library. So let's take a look at this. In file, uh, create a new project and examples. So in our examples tab, this looks different from what we had in GDevelop 5 beta. Um, yes, the GDevelop examples have been removed from the source and placed in a GitHub repository. The bonus of this is that this has reduced the size of GDevelop and will get new examples regularly as you can now submit your own GDevelop example which you want to be added to the engine by clicking on this button right here. So the last improvement we'll be covering in this video is add a preference to display the preview window always on top of other windows. You can find this by going to file and um, preferences and scrolling to the bottom. So there you go. This is the new preference which would allow the, the preview window to always be displayed on top. 
So this version also comes with some bug fixes and brand new extensions. If you want to check out a full list of all the improvements, um, bug fixes, internal changes and extensions, I'll leave a link in the description of the video. So before we call it a day, let me know which is your best improvement in beta 111 in the comment section below. Because right now, my best improvement is the improved selection in GDevelop 5. So if you enjoyed the video, do well to like, subscribe and share. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.